Layer two of the OSI model provides a reliable link between directly connected nodes by detecting and maybe even correcting errors that happen at the physical layer. Now, the protocols that we see here at layer two are gonna vary. We might see frame relay, we might see the point-to-point -point protocol, we could see ethernet, HDLC, or IEEE's 802 protocols. The 802 protocols could be used for Ethernet, 802.3 Ethernet, or it could be 802.5, which is token ring. Could be wireless IEEE protocols. Regardless, Layer 2 handles these various encapsulation methods to give me a reliable link. Now focusing in on layer two addressing on a local area network, we would want to discuss a MAC address. Now MAC stands for Media Access Control. These addresses are 48-bit addresses and we represent these addresses in hexadecimal. This is an example of a hexadecimal address. A8 colon 20 colon 66 colon 3A colon D6 colon A7 would be an acceptable representation. Now we could replace those colons with dashes and that would also be acceptable or we could even replace it with dots and that would be valid as well. We're going to see these different representations on various equipment. So routers, host devices, Linux, Windows, they might represent these values in a different way, but regardless of the representation, those three are valid, it's still a 48-bit hexadecimal address. Now, each of the representations that we just saw, they're all represented in transmission order. And all three of those systems are using that same format, hexadecimal, and differ only in the length of the identifier. So whether it's a 16-bit or 8-bit identifier field. Now MAC addresses can be administered by you, so they can be administered locally, or they can be universally administered addresses. Now, depending on which one of these we choose, if you decide to go in and change your MAC addresses, it's gotta be a way for us to indicate that you've modified the MAC address. So the first three octets in a universally administered address identify the organization that was issued this MAC address space. Now this MAC address space is issued by the IEEE. And here are some examples. 00306E is allocated to HP. 00000C is of course allocated to Cisco. It's a very common prefix to a MAC address that we see. You can see Microsoft and Juniper and Novell and so on. Let's take the Apple address here. 000393. Now, I said that whenever we decide to modify an address or locally administer the address, we have to have some way to indicate that we've done that. So, this would be distinguished by taking the second least significant bit of the most significant byte of the address and toggling it there so that we can see that it's been modified. So how does that work? Well, let's take the most significant byte, which would be the furthest to the left. And we're gonna break that down here. And then we're gonna take the second least significant bit of that byte. Now, if that's a byte and it's hexadecimal value, then that hex should represent eight bits. So this is what that would look like. 
and I put a little separation in there so you can see that it's eight bits and the first four bits are represented by the first zero in the hex address and the last four bits are represented by the second zero in the hex address. So if we were to look at this, and this is the most significant byte of the address, then the second least significant bit would be the one right here. And that bit is known as the UL bit. So it's either universal or local. And so we toggle that bit. If it's set to zero, then that would indicate to me that this was universally administered. If it's set to one, that would tell me that it is locally administered. And so this is the second least significant bit of the most significant byte, and we call it the UL bit. Now the least significant bit identifies whether the traffic that we're looking at is unicast, meaning a one-to-one -one conversation, or multicast, meaning one-to-many. And that is this bit, the least significant bit. So if that bit is set to zero, this indicates unicast. And if that bit is set to one, this would indicate multicast. So understanding these values helps you in your layer two filtering on switches, as well as in controlling different security mechanisms that we would find at layer two. It may not necessarily be on a switch, but it would be a layer two security mechanism.